Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at the DxO denoising technologies that are found in Photolab 4. The DxO denoising technologies that are found in this application are excellent. As a matter of fact, I'm really surprised at how good it is. But with that said, if you don't really understand how to use it or how it works, you may be disappointed in the results. So let's take a look at how you should use the denoising technologies that are found in this application. First of all, I have this image here. It was shot at a very high ISO of 12,800. I'll zoom in a little bit. And you can see that there is a lot of both luminance noise and color noise. Now I wanna remove the noise. So I'll go to the DxO denoising technologies tool and I'll turn it on. And as soon as I turn it on, it will add its basic noise reduction. It's called HQ for high quality. And you could see that it removed the noise, some of the noise, there's still a lot there. So you're thinking to yourself, well, I want to use prime. Let's try that. So we'll click on that. You could see it's doing a correction preview and you look at it and nothing's changed. It's exactly the same. Then I'll go to deep prime and you'll see again, that's nothing has changed. Well, that's because prime and deep prime only do the noise reduction in the very small preview window. The reason for that is that it's very processor intensive and it would take a long time to remove the noise or show the noise removed in this large view. So it only does it in the smaller screen. So what you should do when you first use the DxO denoising technologies tool is turn it on. It's going to default to the HQ. Then come over here and get this little bullseye. And when you do that, your cursor will turn into a rectangle click on the part of the image that you want to preview in the window on the right. I'm going to go over the bird's eye and have part of that background in there as well because you could see that the background has a lot of noise. So now that part of the image is being displayed over here. Now when I click on prime, if you look at the preview window, you'll notice the noise got reduced. So you could see it over here, but not over here. Now, when you're done, actually, you could turn off that window, but you get an idea. Now the noise is reduced. So now we could try deep prime. Now, when I try deep prime, it seems to be actually a tiny bit worse. But the reason for that is deep prime is trying to pull out more detail. And because this is a wildlife shot, I definitely want a lot of detail. I want that feather detail. So what I could do now is use deep prime to draw out that detail but then use this luminance slider to help reduce the noise even further. And what I'll do is I'll typically just push it all the way up and see what it looks like over here in the preview window. And actually it looks very, very good. And you can see that it got rid of a lot of the uh, noise or all of the noise really, and it preserved the detail. So it looks really good. Now, one thing that I would um, you know, tell you about DxO Photolab 4 in general is that if you're ever unsure of how a tool works, the tools have a tiny little question mark over here in the corner. And if you click on that, you'll get uh, some information about the tool and how it works. And you can see that it talks about that uh, the prime, for example, it, it's only shown in the magnifier window, not in the main window and so on. So uh, do that. Click on that little question mark and that will give you more information about the tool you're using. So we reduce noise, but unfortunately we really can't see our noise reduction in this main window. So what we could do is we could export it and then compare the noise reduction in the exported image to the original image. And to do that, I'll go over here and I'll export it to disk and I'm going to save it as a JPEG. Uh, the original image folder location will do that and I'll just click export and it will export the image. Now, once the image is exported, it will show up in these, uh, this exact folder that I have it in and it's right over here. So what I'll do now is I'm on the uh, original image and I'll turn the noise reduction off on the original image so we could see all the noise there. Then what I'll do is I want to have my preview go or my compare feature go to that exported JPEG. So to do that, we're going to go up to view, set reference image, and then we'll do it to that JPEG right there. So now when I click on compare, 
there is our exported image and there's the original image exported image original image i'll double click on it to zoom in a little bit there's the original or there's the exported image with the noise reduced and there's the original image so you could see it did a great job it got rid of all the noise the color noise and the luminance noise and it preserved the detail so i was really blown away but by how good the noise reduction is that is built in to photo lab 4. so that's it hopefully that helps you um, better apply noise reduction to your images thank you everyone who watches my videos i really do appreciate it I'll talk to you guys soon